the story of the unluckiest RNG drop. Of course at this point we're all accustomed to RNG drops such as the Necron Handle, the Giant Sword, the Judgment Core, and many many more. Today we're going to be talking about a Warden Heart. Now it's actually only been 3 weeks since my last Warden Heart, and to be quite honest, I got fairly lucky with my first Warden Heart. Now in terms of RNG drops from Slayers, I've mentioned before that there's obviously 3 ways to actually drop something. And the first and probably most common way to drop a Warden Heart in particular is basically just to get lucky. As you can see here, you have a 0.0138% chance to actually drop a Warden Heart when you're killing a tier 5 rev. Second of all, you can loot share the drop from another player. So if you help another player kill a tier 5 rev, you have a much smaller chance of dropping that Warden Heart. And the final method, the method that everybody dreads, but guarantees you a Warden Heart, and that will be fill the meter. As you can see here, it's just over 3.6 million XP. Of course, every boss gives you around about 1,500 XP, which means that in order to guarantee a Warden Heart drop, you'll have to complete 2,421 Tier 5 Revenant Slayer bosses. The cost of those bosses is around about 242 million coins. And of course, at the moment, well, um, Derpy is the mayor, so we can't check the AH, um, but Warden Hearts usually sell for around about between 100, 130 to 150 million coins. Of course, you have to factor in the other drops that you get along the way, such as Revenant Viscera, which is quite a common drop, along with Full Flesh, which also sells for a decent amount. You've of course got other more expensive drops, such as a Scythe Blade, where they go for around about 5 to 6 million coins, a Smite 7 Book, which goes for around about 6 to 7 million coins, and a Shadow of the Shredded, which goes for around about 12 million coins. On most occasions, if you fill the meter for a Warden Heart, you're probably going to lose coins, unless you get very lucky with the rest of the drops. Not to mention, getting just over 3.6 million Rev Slayer XP should take a while. Let's estimate that um, it probably takes around a minute on average, maybe even slightly less, to spawn and kill one boss. That actually equates to um, just over 40 hours. Now of course, there's ways to speed up the spawning of the bosses, but I'd say probably on average, obviously some took longer and some were a bit quicker, probably about a minute is about right for me. The first Warden Heart that I got dropped at around about 1.1 million XP, and I know that's incredibly lucky. But when I started the grind for the second Warden Heart, when the second Aatrox came around, I thought, well, no way I'm not going to get unlucky again. It got to the point where I was at around 2 million XP, and I just knew what was going to happen. Yesterday I stayed up till around about 5.30 in the morning, uh, trying to get this Warden Heart, just through the meter. Uh, well, you'll, you'll see what happens soon. But during the grind, uh, not only did I lose brain cells, I actually think I went maybe clinically insane for a, for a short period of time until I came round. Before the craziness begins, you should subscribe to the channel, become part of the 23%. Also, you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of every video. No! Oh. So, so! Now we put the steak on the grill! Squad. We put the mozzarella sticks in the fryer! Then, we serve it to the customer! Can't forget the beef! Never, never, never! You oh, did. Never, never. What the fuck are you going, Yata? Come back here. Sorry, but I don't oh, speak! Oh my. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck did you try to heal the enemy team? I saw Sorry. that. I saw that. Bro, shush, 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 shush. Shut up. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, wait, what? No English, bye bye. Sorry, no English, bye bye. Yeah, she did like right on me. She jumped into me and then she did it. Do, 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 do. Uh, protect the Rhino. Rhino, I think, really needs to heal. She's dead. I'm healing both of them. But, yeah, okay. I am healing, sorry. Yeah, fucking the payload, where is he going? With that German good dog. The payload, sir. Okay, back to mushrooms. Mushrooms. I, I vault. Cool. We can easily, we easily win. We easily win. I vault. It's my yeah. time. People, sexy black nancy. Sorry. <laughs> Netherlands. Do you like cheese? Um, not really. I like uh... it. I like it melted, like on pizza. Not really any other way. I don't like it not melted. Aww. And it can't be strong, it can't be cheesy cheese. It's gotta be non-cheesy cheese. You know the non- You know the non-cheesy stuff? Yeah, that's- uh, Isn't that American cheese? No, no, I don't like American cheese. That's not even cheese, that's plastic. I swear. Uh, but, I swear. Yeah, American cheese, American cheese is ass. That's I swear. I swear in my mother's name. I'm going to- I'm going to break my monitor! I swear! 
No, come on. He screamed in way more lowercase. No. Man, I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. I swear! <laughs> Wait. Where's the warden heart? I just realized I can't be. Yay! It's an insane drop! Wow! I'm so happy! It's almost as if I did. It's all. It's almost as if I. It's almost as if, you know. It's almost as if I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, yes, yes, let's go, yes! Yes! Oh my god. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Since then, I've slept for about 10 hours, and I feel somewhat a little bit more sane now. But was it even worth it? Now we know. I mean, I did some of the grinding during Aatrox, so instead of it costing me 240 mil, I estimate maybe it cost me somewhere around about 210 mil to actually fill that meter. Throughout the course of the grind, I dropped two Scythe Blades, two Shard of the Shreddeds, and two Smite Sevens. And of course, one one heart and the rest of the other random drops. So the one heart itself, we'll say, probably sells usually for around about 140 million. Two Shard of the Shreddeds, they're about 12 mil each, so that's 24 million. Two Smite Sevens, they're around about 7.2 million if you put an order up. And Scythe Blades are around about 6 mil each, and we dropped two of those too. Which means that from those drops alone, we've made around about 190 million coins. And from Revenant Viscera, oh, I don't even know how you say this, okay, we're just going to roll with it. From whatever we've made from this, Foul Flesh and also the other random drops, I can say that we've easily made at least 20 million coins. I think, to be honest, we may have just made a small profit on this, which I can't really complain with considering we have filled a meter. But of course it isn't just coins. Doing revs gives you an insane amount of combat XP. My combat XP was always lacking, and to be honest, before this grind started, I was probably at around about combat 41 or 42. Taken us up to 53, which is pretty nice. I know Ghost is probably better. Um, this is more interesting. I also managed to put around about 30 levels onto this Golden Dragon, which is another massive W. So not only have we profited from our drops, we've also gained a ridiculous amount of combat XP, and we've also put about 30 levels on a Golden Dragon, which is coins as well. All in all, even though it is the most unlucky way to drop an RNG drop, I've still benefited from it and quite a lot. And quite honestly, it's a grind that I recommend to anyone watching the video if they haven't done it already. But anyway, I think that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.